In this video, we're going to look at a feature in Thrive Architect that has to do with headers and footers. This is one of the most confusing and often frustrating aspects of using Thrive Architect for many people. So let's dive in and take a look at the global element as well as the header and footer options available. So here we have my website with my themes header and my themes footer. This is the first distinction I want to make when we talk about using headers and footers in Thrive Architect. So the theme of your website is what dictates the styling of your website. It often dictates the CSS, it dictates the headers and the footers, the blog layout, and a lot of those things. That means that if I want to use this header and this footer, I need to be using and referencing my themes files. So when we use Thrive Architect, we can build right within any theme, right? I can come into Thrive Architect and I can add a background section. I can do anything that I want to build out a page. I can build out a gradient. Um, every, everything on my website, for example, is built with Thrive Architect. But a lot of people will say, well, I want to be able to customize a header and a footer using Thrive Architect. So they come into here, into Thrive Architect, and they search for header. They can't find anything. They search for footer. They can't find anything, and they're confused. Let's try to look at a few ways that we can solve this problem and start to allow you to customize these headers and footers using Thrive Architect. The first option is going to be looking at landing pages. So if you open up any page that you want to edit, again, this is that same page, and you go to this little cloud icon on the right hand side and you click on um, default templates here. Um, you'll notice that all of the default Thrive templates come up or we can choose a blank one. For this, uh, for this tutorial, let's go ahead and use a blank landing page. Now when I choose to switch over to this blank landing page, I am no longer referencing my themes CSS. And my theme files, so that header and that footer, they're no longer here. I literally have a blank canvas. But a couple problems occur when I do that, right? With no header, no footer, I'm not going to reference any of the changes I make in the theme. So when I go under my themes menus, they won't appear here. And also, my website by default, when I create a new page, won't reference anything that I build here. But let's go ahead and take a look at some, some ways in which we can try to patchwork things together, and then I'll discuss about some things that are coming in the future. So first off, if you want to make a header or a footer, again, let's go to this gear section on the right-hand side and go to the global element. Under this global settings, we have fonts, which you're probably familiar with, and then the header and the footer. The header and the footer here are how you will add a header and a footer to your landing page. It's one way to do it. So let's look at this for a second. Let's create a new header and let's choose a template. Um, for this, let's go ahead and choose a basic light. We'll choose that. We'll load it up. Great, we'll give it a name. Let's call it um, header footer video demo. And there we go. It's automatically in. This is, this is going to be used globally throughout my landing page. And of course we can make some edits to it. I can click on it and click edit header. I can click on my logo. I can swap this to Convology, right? My Convology logo. Um, and no matter where I put it in, let's just choose that one. Great, it'll now reference that as my logo. For the menu, I can come in here and I can click on one of these menu items. And then in the breadcrumbs, click custom menu. This custom menu is going to uh, reference uh, these options here on the left hand side. So you can see we currently have it in horizontal or we can go to hamburger and we can choose the menu source. The menu source is going to be custom, footer menu or main menu. If I choose main menu, it automatically pulled in the same menu that I currently have on my themes website. So this is how we can get changes from the back end of WordPress to when you go into appearance and menu, we can get those changes to appear here. Now that's pretty cool, but again, this is only for landing pages. We can do the same thing with the footer. When we're done editing, click done. We'll come back in here to the gear and we'll go to the footer and we will add a new footer. Let's create new. Let's choose this basic option here for minimal and we're all set. We'll call it footer demo. Now, if I want to add content in between the header and the footer, I can just simply start adding anything I want and it will automatically add it in between. That's not bad. That's pretty great in fact, but let's save our work. Now, what happens when I want to go make a new page? So let's go into, uh, let's open up a new page. Let's actually try that out. 
So I'm going to the admin section of my website and let's go to pages, add new. We'll say video demo, we'll save that as a draft. We will launch Thrive Architect. And here's what I was talking about before. That's not going to reference the header and the footer because this is a theme page, not a landing page. So I have to go to that cloud again. I have to go to my landing pages. I choose blank. I click choose template. And I could have saved that previous page we just built as a template, but for the purposes of this video, I want to showcase something. Now, if I come in here and I go back to global and I go to header, I want you to see something. Remember that header that we created, the header vid footer video demo? That's right here. That header that I created is ready for use and the footer is also a saved variable footer demo ready for use. And again, I can come in here and I can create as much content as I want and it will go between the header and the footer. So if you're looking to create a consistent, fully custom header and footer, you can do so, but you're going to be forced to use Thrive landing pages. That's a feature in Thrive Architect. You cannot edit your themes header and your footer. Now under this little geared cog here when we clicked on header and footer and we referenced these global settings, I want to show you where else you can find these. If we go back to the admin section of WordPress and we go to the Thrive dashboard, we'll just leave that page, we scroll down on our Thrive dashboard we'll find our global elements section. We can click on manage global elements. And from here, we can access our content symbols, headers and footers. Under headers, remember I created the header footer video demo. And under footers, I created my footer demo. This is where we can access those. And if I wanted to edit them and I clicked edit header, here I can make edits to my header and they will save and apply globally to all of my landing pages. So if we come back to our original test that we did here, I'm just going to save this to make sure it's saved. And I'm going to preview it so that we can bounce between the two of these. So let's go back to our header that we're editing here. And if we open up our Thrive Architect element tray on the right hand side, you'll notice there's, a, there's a, an option or two that are not normally there. The first one is logo. That's pretty cool because if I were to delete this logo and re-add this back, it would actually reference my logo as a global element. Notice how it's doing that already? That's because I'd set my logo as a global element. That's, that's pretty neat. But let's say I wanted to add something else to this header. Let's say I also wanted to add something like a button. Maybe I wanted to put in some kind of call to action, maybe like a call today kind of thing. Um, you can choose a button style that you want. We can say, let's right align this button and perhaps we want to decrease some of the padding in the margin because we think that our, our header is taking up too much vertical space or, or something like that. We can actually come in here and we can shrink this a little bit and we can say, okay, that looks good. Um, okay, let's say, I'm, let's say I'm happy with that. All I have to do is click save work. It's finished saving. I come back to my test that we did. I refresh and there it is. This will now globally automatically update my header and if we would made edits to the footer to the footer as well again that's a really awesome feature but it doesn't solve the problem of editing the themes header and the footer that's actually what you're going to have to wait for thrive theme builder to do thrive theme builder is going to be an entire theme that you're building within thrive architects i, I guess i kind of call it thrive architects um, ecosystem. So let's recap where we're at. If you want to make edits to your themes header and your themes footer, as you can see on my homepage here, I have my header and I have my footer. The only way you're going to be able to do that is through your theme or when Thrive Theme Builder comes out, you will natively be able to edit the header and the footer just as I showed you before, but in a theme perspective. For now, if you want to use this functionality that will be theme-wide in Thrive Theme Builder and you want to make those edits in Thrive Architect, you can do so by using a landing page, as I showed you in the video here, or and by using the global headers and footers 
but again remembering that those are only capable of being added to a landing page now here's a special little trick i want to show you that kind of gets around the whole idea of being stuck un unable to use this with your theme so we're back in that video demo page that i created let's go back to our theme to do that we click on the gear cog and we click on landing page settings and we click revert to theme and when you do that you're going to lose everything here so be careful so we're reverting it back to our theme so what happens there it is we have our themes header and our themes footer if I want to continue to use my theme and I want to use all of my theme styling, right? I'm using Ocean WP right now. If I want to use Ocean WP, but I want to make my own header and my own footer, here's the trick. Go to the page that you created in the back end of WordPress. And if you're using Ocean WP or a, uh, a theme that's like Ocean WP or Astra or any of these themes that give you more granular controls, here's what you can do. It's kind of tricky or sneaky. You can come into here and you can look for an Ocean WP settings, the header section, and it says display header. That's by default enabled, right? You've seen it on my website. If I click disable and I click save and I come back into, let's close that. I come back into our demo and I hit refresh. I've actually hidden my themes header, despite the fact that I'm still using my theme. So I'm going to go over that again. I'm in my theme, Ocean WP. I'm not using a landing page. I've disabled my themes header from showing in the theme settings. Let's create a header that we can use across our entire website and save it as a symbol. To do that, we'll create a background section. We'll stretch it to fill the screen width. We'll add um, our logo, right? I mentioned before that it will automatically pull my logo because I've set that and we're going to add a custom menu. We'll put that custom menu to the right of our logo and we'll just use a standard simple menu drop down right now. We'll use a WordPress menu. We'll reference the main menu. Let's keep it basic for this. And there we go. I once again, I'm starting to look like I have my themes header, but I have it on my actual theme and not using one of Thrive's landing pages. So I can make, again, any edits that I want within this section. I can have my columns align, I can have my background section, balance out the content. Again, I can add buttons, I can take this menu, I can center it, I can do whatever I want to do with it. And it's completely something that I can save and place on any page that I create. So again, to show you how that works, I'm clicking on the background section, I'm clicking the save button, I'm going to save it as a symbol, I'm going to call it you know, demo header, and click save. Now this is saved as a symbol and will also be found within the global elements section of my website. So this is great. Now whenever I create a new page, I simply come over to this plus symbol and let's say this were gone. This was a brand new page. I would add a template and symbol. I would go to my symbols. I would choose my demo header. I would insert it and there it is. Now I can use a custom header and a custom footer anywhere within my actual theme with full customization options avail available to me from Thrive Architect. So there you go. Again, let's recap what we've learned. If we want to get rid of our themes header and our themes footer entirely and reference them using global elements, we can come into the back end of our Thrive dashboard and we can go to our global elements and we can set up a header and a footer and we can then attach them to our landing pages, as you saw, or we can hide our themes header and footer using our theme options, and we can customize and build our own using Thrive Architect symbols. So that's a pretty neat trick, um, something that I don't often see referenced. I, I see this question on um, Thrive Facebook groups and the Thrive Official Support Forums all the time. Um, so while you're waiting for Thrive Theme Builder to come out like all of us are, you can use these two neat tricks to kind of I guess, simplify the header and footer process, get something that's completely customizable, and start making and building great websites. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. You can leave a question in this video or go to convology.com and find the blog post associated with this video and uh, be happy to help you there as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug from Convology.